by everybody. <laughs> I am just, I just, I read too much. I really do. I've been laughing. I just took a shower. And I have laughed through my shower over the CEO of Levi saying, What? Don't wash your blue jeans. <laughs> she never wash your blue jeans. <laughs> That you'll wreck your blue jeans. <laughs> Instead, you should wrap them up, put them in a bag, and put them in the freezer. It'll kill all the bacteria you need. And if by chance you have a little spot on them, just lightly spot. Come on, I'm not gonna wash my blue jeans ever or once a year. It's like, uh, nah, not happening. <sighs> I went on the internet because. I think I have like three shirts to wear for winter. <laughs> I mean, when I did that cleaning up the closet, boy, I got rid of everything. I have like a couple, you know, just plain shirts. Um, so I was reading like, you know, what's in for fall and winter fashion, you know. Um, well, anything moto. And as in motocross jacket, you know, basically just just make sure the zipper is offset. You know, I mean, it can be a vest, it can be a shirt, it can be a jacket. It doesn't have to be leather. And then that pop of orange. Seriously, like I'm going to wear orange. You put orange with my skin and I turn green. But, you know, you don't have to buy an orange dress or an orange this. You can just buy an orange bag or an orange scarf or, I don't know, orange bangles. Who knows? <sighs> yeah, I'd look just like Halloween <laughs> with all my black clothing and orange. <sighs> <sighs> so... Today, I was thinking about looking for some clothing. Um, I tried on, and I'm wearing my brand new blue jeans, which apparently, from the tag, is a boyfriend cut. So, Mary Ellen, a boyfriend cut makes them feel like they're too long in the crotch, and you can roll them up. Um, I also looked that up. So they're cut longer in the crotch, or what I call the rise. Um, <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> I just find some of this fashion stuff. Uh -huh. I think I've got cream in my eyes. That was another thing. I fell asleep last night. Talk about, you know, your nighttime routine. Oh, I didn't have any last night. I had some stuff I had to get done. And I literally was up on the internet till I could stay awake no longer. And that was like around 3 and I woke up at 9. So, <laughs> but no, so, it, it, oh, oh, and my favorite fall fashion <laughs> winter <laughs> is basically what looks to me like men's wingtip shoes or Oxfords, but men's, men's. Um, I, I was, I've never been a big, you know, fan of wingtip shoes to begin with, a little less uh, <sighs> buying the female version of it. Hey, look, I got my black tennis shoes and um, I have some cigar shoes that I bought that I love. They're, oh, and leopard, just is it leopard? Is it leopard? When it's gold with black spots. Name that animal print. I think it's leopard. Yeah, leopard print. Uh, shoes, scarves, just again, just buy something. Um, uh, so, uh, I'm screwed. 
I'm totally screwed. I again just I'm gonna rebel this year and just buy what I want to wear. <laughs> oh, oh, fashion. So anyway, my boy cut blue jeans feel too big, but that may be a little too big. But you know, I bought them too big, being 99% cotton. I mean, I haven't bought a pair of 99% cotton pants forever, so this should be interesting. But they're comfortable. I mean, my problem is, is I'm a very monochromatic person as far as clothing. And to me, blue jeans don't go with anything. Like right now I'm wearing them with black. They don't match. And, oh, and I love it when I, because... <laughs> In the video, I, I caught it, and I was going, you're just so crazy, girl. Um, whenever I say I need to buy a pair of black jeans, I say, I'm looking for a pair of black blue jeans. I am just in a silly mood today. So anyway, fall fashions. Buy something orange. I mean, you know, like orange, orange. Um, leopard, something, and moto. Moto, moto, moto. Uh, when Jules and I were out shopping, we saw the moto trend really well. I mean, it was like on everything. They had vests and <sighs> tweed jackets and le uh, leather, of course. And, uh, but, so anyway, I'm catching up on my videos because I had the stomach flu, thanks to my grandchildren. Ay, ay, ay. And I had just spent pretty much a sleep deprived night because a friend of mine um, thought she was getting a UTI, so she was going to go to the doctor hopefully the next day, knowing her, I don't know. And, um, uh, we ended up at the emergency room. She had a kidney stone. So I stayed with her probably till 2. And I don't think I got to sleep till 4. And then she called me around 10 saying, I passed the stone. I feel great now. And so after lunch, I can come home. Can you come get me? Because, you know, I drove her there. She said, I can take a taxi. And I said, no, no, no. I'll come get you. But thank God she passed it. And... Yeah, I got a little upset at the um, one of the nurses because she can't swallow pills. And yeah, I know she's 64 and can't swallow pills, but that's the way it goes. Um, you know, and basically, you know, it was like, don't pick on a poor woman who is totally high on Dilaudid and does no drugs, you know. She was saying, this is a little ridiculous that, you know, you would think at 64 you could swallow pills and it's like apparently the woman has not looked at the gummy bear chewable vitamins for adults the gummy bear chewable calcium with vitamin D apparently you know poor lady is not the only one that can't chew pills I mean not swallow pills if, because the vitamin market would not be you know, putting them out there if it wasn't you know, some money in the pocket over them. I take handfuls of pills. I don't know. Well, see, we've done fashion update. I'm trying to catch up on YouTube. I don't know. I need to go to Safeway because Walmart didn't have all the stuff I needed. And after that, that lunch meat. I refuse to buy lunch meat there. And I'm in the mood for some <sighs> ham or turkey, I don't know. And I want to see if I can find some croissants to make um, sandwiches out of. No, we'll see. I'll get back to you. I'm still making a list. Ah, I forgot. I was going to start a new section. <coughs> or a new segment. 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 And it's basically, Mary, Mary, this is what I'm reading. <laughs> I love Mary Mary. And, um, you see, I luckily have some friends that are 
um, use book dealers and they have a shop but this agreement that was struck was with the um, woman's mother when she owned it and I basically borrow novels I just borrow them I read them take them back to them and then they know I like reference books as I call them reference books so I picked up a great one it is let me see if I can turn it it is I don't think you can see it let me put my glasses it's called fortunes in formulas and I didn't look at the copyright I was going to to see what the copyright was on it 1957 so yeah this is why I say I'm such a nerd I will read every I don't know how many pages are in it um, I don't know almost 900 and <laughs> I can't wait it's got some really good parts to it it basically tells you how to make anything and um, from glues they've got a great cosmetic section little tainted because they think the best insulation on earth is asbestos <laughs> so Mary Mary this is what I mean when I say I'm a nerd this is what keeps me from a lot of novels is I will literally read this book from cover to cover and I'll keep you guys informed of cosmetics because um, all out of coconut oil um, I think I'm gonna get some more coconut oil but I'm thinking that I my next batch of stuff I'd like to do a mixed oils um, maybe a little coconut oil and throw in some jojoba and make more of a oil than a um, solid um, you know, there must be words for these things. I'll have to look up the words as to exactly what they call like liquid oils versus things like coconut oil. Um, because my skin is just out of control as far as dry. And uh, I, you know, I love certain oils. I love grapeseed oil. I love jojoba. We all know I love it. I love love hope but grapeseed oil has a lot of really cool things in it some almond oil so I'm thinking about and then again you know I always put vitamin E in all my oils so I'm thinking about if I can come up with the money to buy the oils um, things got a little precarious here a friend of ours had a really bad plumbing problem and uh, we all had to kind of chip in to help her get it fixed. And I have a real thing now. Um, some of you might get this and some of you might not. I do not loan people money. I will give them money and if by chance they can pay me back some of it, fine. If not, fine. I do not believe in losing friendships over money. And this was I got a call from her, you know, like, oh, there's water all over the place. So I, you know, I ran over there, found the water turn off. And, um, you know, everyone's always convinced I can fix stuff. I can't fix rusted out pipes. The house is an older one, and um, we needed to have some major plumbing done on it. And she just is not financially capable of doing it all herself the money so luckily I run around with an excellent group of people and we put our heads together and what finances we could so 
there's not a lot of disposable income for the next few months for me. Um, as far as, you know, doodads and stuff, I'm still spending a gift card for clothing, so I'm good there. But, um, so this is going to be fun because I have huge cosmetics and system uh, section and even how to make your own hair dyes. I am going to love this book. Gunpowder. Um, kerosene deodorizer. Uh, that seems like an oxymoron. Leather. How to deal with tanning leather. Liniments. Metals. Mirrors. Paper. This is how to make paper. How you can make paper. Perfumes. Ah, excellent. And I mean, to even teach us how to make polishes for different things. Putty. Salts that you can do with them. Soaps. Oh, God. Syrups. You know, it's just an amazing book. Different waxes to make. Candling. Just excellent stuff. Oh, how to make wine. That's always a good one to know. In case the world ends, one should know how to make it. But they have great cosmetics. That's what I was really looking at. Mentholated cold, cold cream. White paraffin, white beeswax, menthol camphor, thymol? I don't know what that is. Boric acid and rose water. See. Lemon cold. We'll have to figure out what um, you do with all these things. If I run into anything good, I'll tell you. Or I'll probably make it, knowing me. So it's a great book. So Mary Mary, that's what I'm reading. Fortunes and Formula by Hiscock and Sloan. Published by Books Inc. It's a little tattered. So this book I bought, they saved me books like this, and these are the only type of books that I buy. I'm still making a grocery list. I don't know. That probably um, bored you, but I decided that need to give Mary Mary a, uh, what did I just call it? Segment. <laughs> I, it's just, I love Mary Mary. Well, I gave up making a list. I just went to Safeway. So, this is what I got. It's not much of a haul. I got the tempura, sh um, shrimp tempura crunch roll that I love. Yeah, I might love sushi. I got three quarters of a pound of the honey ham. And then I bought these, the green drink, in the smaller bottles. Because it was a dollar off. They had these little tags taped to them. It was a dollar off per bottle. So it went from $2.99 to $1.99. Got some books that I like. Paper towel. This is super exciting. Um, dryer sheets. I used to use balls in the dryer, these uh, plastic ones, but the kids played with them so much I have no idea where they are. And then I bought the Safeway Home Original, I don't know, clothes soap, whatever, it's 32 loaves, and some bread. I was going to buy croissants, but I would have had to bought like a dozen of them. <laughs> and... All of a sudden, I'm getting this box in the mail. So let me open it, and I'll show you what it is. I have a feeling it's being sent to me by Amanda, but I need to find out because I didn't order. <laughs> I'll see you in a minute. So here, I'll show you this box. Um, i got to be getting it from Jules or Amanda. It's called thegraze.com, and it's healthy or snacking. So let's open it and see what's in it. 
so I just cut the paper. Um, this is what it looks like. So, I don't know if it tells you anything about this. Let's see what's in it this month. There it is. Mai Tai uh, and it says sweet chili sauce with baked soy bites that could be really good or bad it's only 80 calories oh jalapeno fiesta mm -mm -mm. see what it says about this um No, it doesn't say how many calories. It says jalapeno, peanuts, sal salsa, almonds, and roasted seeds. Mm, that sounds good. So basically, you get these four snacks. And this is the brownie flapjack. It says rusted rolled oak flapjack with brownie pieces. And... Garden of England. Let's see what this one is. Mini strawberry and apple and black currants. Oh, it's dried fruit. Oh, excellent. So anyway, there's this. It's a box that comes, and this is the second one I've gotten. The first one I just thought it was a promotional box, but I have a feeling that somebody signed me up for it. So it's you know, Grays.com. Snacking reinvented. I don't know what the card says. Um, I wonder if they have a referral code in case anybody wants one. If you refer three friends. I don't know how. I'll check into it to see. Um, but it's just... I wonder if they have codes. Oh, they do have codes. Okay, so I could put codes up. Because it's just... Claude for ZB. Um, so, if you want it, I'll put that code up. And uh says, I guess you can give it to people or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, healthy snacks are kind of really appealing to me, but they're kind of like scary. I mean, I hate eating anything that tastes like cardboard. Sorry, I have an aversion to cardboard. <sighs> well, I'm going to nuke my coffee since I think I've only had... I know, it's all I talk about. Coffee, 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 coffee. I love coffee. Um, and... Um, Oh, I wanted to give a shout out because I think I, you know, I mean, we know I love Janice um, and Rocky and Rich and um, Chris Ann. Oh, we know I love Chris Ann and Mary Ellen. Who doesn't love Mary Ellen? Let's face it. But somebody that I really, really like, and I mean, I really look forward to watching her videos, is uh, Natalie glittering the sky and I'm going to put her link below because if you've not given her a look oh, you got to I mean I love I love I love and I know one of her dogs name is Gracie but I don't know what her other dog is and she's just so real I love Natalie I love you so I'll put her link below because I definitely feel like there are more people I should be giving shout outs to. And I think that's part of YouTube is not only watching like me, but you know, if I like somebody, you know, to say, hey, give them a try. You know, it's the only advertisement there really is on YouTube is word of mouth. So I will definitely put Natalie's um link and thank you Natalie for making videos is all I can say. Now I'm probably going to end this vlog. I mean you saw what's for dinner. Sushi! 
um, I have to just kind of go through a couple things. These pots are all clean. I got some dishes to throw in. Uh, no, that's right. I need to get the trash and recycle out. So, other than that, because uh, I only have a couple dishes to load. Again, I have a complete mess on the bar. This is never a neat problem um, that I have to deal with. And I'm trying to get a hold of my daughter. The great grandma called me. She wants to come up. Uh, her and uh, the children's father are coming up. I think they want to see what's going on. And I think my daughter's dad wants to maybe have a talk with her husband. I mean, I would not want to be him. Um, and, I mean, don't get me wrong, he is, like, beyond a civil human being. He is a very intelligent and really cool person. But, you know, because him and I got in some great battles. And it's really intellectual battles. And I hate to tell you this, but my son-in-law is not going to. He'll be lucky if he survives the conversation. <laughs> oh well, too bad for him. Um, no, things are much better on the uh, um, separation front. It seem, they seem to be falling into a pattern. Um, but I still wouldn't want to be him. Because I know Carly's dad is going to want to speak to her husband. So, but it's like... What are you calling me for? My children are like in their 30s. <laughs> Still call me to see if it's okay to go to their house? It's like, I don't think so. <laughs> well, thanks everybody for watching today. It's just been, <laughs> listen, you know, when you, you know, you end up with, <laughs> let's see, a plumbing disaster that for sure everybody thought I could fix. Um, I can't fix rusted pipes. <laughs> I ran into one of our friends that was involved in helping raise the money for the plumber. And she said, you know, her husband's died. She should really sell the house. You know, and I said, either that or I think the intelligent thing to do these days is if your home is paid for and you really like your home, just take out a reverse mortgage and live in it and have a fun time and you know, let the kids find their own fortune. <laughs> but <sighs> there's always one amongst your friends, the one that has to fix everybody's life. It's like, go get a boyfriend, please. Do us all a favor. Get a boyfriend. I hope she never sees this. Because, well, since I haven't mentioned names, maybe nobody. Now, I talked to Jules. She did not send me the graze box. So, I have to keep finding out who did. <laughs> it's very sweet. Um, but anyway, so... I guess it was just the fall update. Oh, you know, talk about fashion. If you really want to see how to dress well, Natalie the Beauty Diva. And I think the problem I have with her name is you say diva to me and it's like, yeah, it's got some negative. She's the sweetest woman on earth. I mean, if you've ever watched her in a Susan, Su uh, Susie Clancy video, oh God, they're hilarious. She's a sweetheart. But if you want to see how to dress, I mean, she does it really well. Get yourself some really nice suit coats. Wear basic black and accessorize beautifully. And you're going to look a zillion percent every day. So if you want to know how to dress for work, just take some advice from her. Because she is just, just drop dead gorgeous when it comes, you know, her whole appearance, her hair, her makeup. And her clothing is just 10 points, girl. 10 points. Well, I'm going to go and get busy and get 
the rest of my stuff because it's done because it's 5.30 and I would like to not be on the internet tonight and just chill. Watch some TV. I'll give you a TV update, but I gotta tell you, hot, oh god, Outlanders is so good. Outlander, der, no S, no S, is just absolutely great. And I'm sure Janice will agree. <laughs> it got pretty hot last night. I'm just, I'm, I think, one episode behind. Just got through the, the marriage. Ho oh, ho, that was fun. If you like a little romance, I would consider watching Outlander. Well, everybody, take care. And again, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.